Lux Talavera. I love the, the bright colors, the festive nature of it. We're near Mexico, it's made in Mexico. It's, it's just this lovely touch of the Southwest to brighten an area of your home, uh, well, your outdoor living spaces. Because if you're planting succulents in anything, they're gonna want as much light and air as you can give them, short of scorching afternoon sun. I thought it would be fun to have a bit of a challenge, to take on a pot that threatens to upstage the succulents. I selected this because the rim of the pot is blue-green. And that gives a nice upright element. Don't look at the color of the container, that'll throw you off. But I like that, and I also love those little seed pods on the top of that. So you like that one, okay. <laughs> And also for height, we could do, I mean, it's surprising how many things look good in this. You know, when you consider how strong the pot is in terms of design. So we have good old Aeonium Zwar Cup, which is, that, that's, that's, the that's the winner. Oh my gosh, people, people are loving this one. You know why I'm not thrilled with this? Is to me, I'm just looking at a leggy Aeonium. You know, I would just snap those off, <laughs> throw them into the audience and send you home with, with cuttings, but I got I got in trouble at Epcot Center for doing that. So now I, now I, uh, huh? I'm not. And you're in the front row. This will go around the rim of the pot, and there's some wonderful nubby, bead-like uh, shapes in the design, which I think this is going to pick up on really nicely. You see how the repetition there then of, of the beads and the dots and the texture? This grew in my parents' yard when I was a kid. This is a very uh, common succulent. Sedum rubrotinctum, meaning red. The cult of our name is pork and beans, which I think is kind of stupid, to tell you the <laughs> truth. I would call this the jelly bean plant because does it look like pork and beans to you? I am planting this so that the plant goes over the edge of the pot. And you notice too, I'm planting very high in the pot. These root balls are not even buried. Uh, they're basically sitting on top of the soil because I want that lush cascading look. There's purple in here and I saw that purple and I got all excited because I thought, wow, you know, there are purple succulents, and wouldn't it be great to repeat that lavender purple? This is Echeveria Neon Breakers. These are basically just several cuttings that the nursery started in a pot, and that's really handy when I want to tuck some color in, but I don't want that whole grouping in one spot. See how the Crassula perforata variegata repeats by the square shape and stacked look of its leaves, the cross hatching in the Talavera pot. So that's a repetition of pattern. I am done and I will be happy to see you back at the book signing table. Thank you. Thank you.